meshing multiple Nokia beacon units. So you will need an ethernet cable, you'll need your existing router and a new meshing router, and you'll need the meshing router power supply. The first thing you want to do is power on the meshing router. So take your power supply, plug that into the power outlet and just pop it into the back of the router. Once that's been done, you want to connect the two routers together using an ethernet cable. So you're going to put the ethernet cable into the blue or the WAN port of the meshing router and then pop the other end into the LAN port of the existing original router. Once this has been done, a series of lights will appear on the meshing router until eventually it goes the same colour blue as the original router. Then it's ready to be placed in the desired location. Once you've placed it in the new position and powered it on, it will take about five minutes to connect. Once it's gone blue, it means that the meshing router is now live and you should have extended coverage through your house. If you need any further assistance, just give us a call on 0800 894 114.